friends welcome to my youtube channel code with the kill so in my earlier video i tried to cover what are different types of operators we have in c sharp if you have not watched that video i will highly encourage you to do that so today's question is what are different decision making statements so here the interviewer wants to know whether you are really aware of if else block or the switch case statement so let's try to see each statement one by one in case of if block so this is basically to uh, make the decision based on true or uh, the false value evaluation maybe like just uh, just for the demonstration i'll just try to put say enter your age and let me capture the age in some variable int age so by default if i try to uh, get some value from the user it will be string i will have to cast it to integer so I will just do console dot read line uh, cons convert dot to string uh, integer my bad and here I'll just check if you can simply uh, type if and then tap tap it will just give you the skeleton if age is less than zero I will just say invalid age. enter so this is j this is just your if block if you want to give it another else block say you want to uh, print something like valid h enter so this is just your if else block in case of if uh, else block you can keep on giving the conditions so if i want to type something like if else if h is greater than 0 and a is, is less than 80 So here, in case of uh, if block, I can compare multiple comparison operator. So I'll, I can just print valid age, but not eligible for vote. Else if, and then I can say if age is greater than 18, so CW is shorthand for console dot right line, CW tap tap, and then eligible for vote. So in case of if block, you can write multiple conditions. You can use conditional operator here. You can use greater than uh, greater than value uh, operator in case of if statement. Yes, I would say just the replica of this is if else if else if condition is switch case. But so just the difference between switch case and if condition is that you can evaluate the equal operator in this switch case you cannot write uh, greater than equal to or less than equal to maybe i'll just uh, you can do quick refactoring if you want to wrap it inside a method this is your so if else block let me just comment it out So talking about the switch case statement so as we have accepted the age from the user i can simply wrap it inside the switch case you can write switch and then tap tap it will give you the skeleton just like the if, uh, case condition i can pass age block here so here i can write case i would say 18 as i said you could just have equality evaluation you cannot write greater than or equal to then i would say you are 18 years old and then you'll have to use break statement just after this which states that this condition is completed similarly you can write case say 60 Congratulations, you are retired from work now. And then you can again write break statement. 
so if none of the condition is satisfied then it goes to defo uh, the default statement here you can write no conditions satisfied so just to summarize, if you have condition wherein you want to compare using greater than, equal to or less than, equal to other than equality operator, go for if block or the scenario wherein you just have the equality operator, go for switch case. So switch case has some constraint as compared to uh, if else condition. I hope you enjoyed this video and got to learn something on this. So see you in the next interview question.